Oklahoma City Thunder combo guard James Harden was named the NBA's sixth man of the year on Thursday. The bearded wonder averaged 16.8 points on a career-best 49% shooting. Harden dominated the voting here in 115 of 119 first-place votes. And the Kia NBA Most Valuable Player goes to... James Harden with Houston Rockets. Um, hopefully in, in the top five range is, is my prediction, um, and, and not not out of that, that range. That you look at and think I could really play well in that in this system. That there, well, there are a couple teams. You know, Oklahoma City is young, young, and, and they have they have a, a two spot who is open, you know, which is a great fit. You know, James, is there a player right now in the league that people can say, yeah, I can see James Harden being this type of a player? Maybe, maybe a, uh, two players, uh, Ginobili and Paul Pierce, put together. You know, can can you know find his way to the basket? Can can shoot the the pull up now? Um, can, can shoot the deep deep three balls? Um, you know, just just the, whatever the coach needs him to do, he can do. James Harden all along, they considered him the most polished player in the draft. Well, he's a lefty, Stu, and he's an all-around solid player. He's very physical. He seeks out contact when he drives into the lane, and he simply knows how to play. I think a lot of people thought he could be like a, a Brandon Roy type player in this draft, but, but a little bit limited. I think he can improve his mid-range game and his pull-up game, and he can also improve his handle. He didn't finish up the season particularly well. I think that James Harden is going to be a very good player. The Oklahoma City Thunder select James Harden of Aristotle. He's a versatile player, can, couple, can cover a couple of spots on the floor, but he's also very much of a team guy. So when you look at all of those elements, he seems to be the kind of guy that, if there is a prototypical Oklahoma City Thunder player, Harden seems to fit that mold. I came off the bench, so once again, I just had to be humble and just continue to work. Back screen for Durant as they moved it down the floor past half court. Lee Thompson couldn't find McGuire there in the Warriors' second turnover. Harden, a little floater. And here come the Thunder. Harden dropping in the three. Durant's got 14. Harden, he's not going to break the string. He drops in the three. Oh, the dangerous pass stolen. It was cross court, and Harden buries it. Amazing, isn't it, when you dance it twice, he's got caught. Tuggy's got six rebounds already for Oklahoma City. Big shot right here. This is huge. Leave him one-on-one. -on -one. Brian for the lead. Misses. Gasol banks it in with five-tenths of a second remaining. Harden showing off his range. Another triple. James Harden is smoking hot. Another huge shot down the stretch. For James Harden. This is a gigantic shot for James Harden. James Harden won the 2011-12 Kia NBA Sixth Man Award as the league's best player in a reserve role. The NBA made the announcement on Thursday. Harden, who led all NBA reserves in scoring, came off the bench in 60 of 62 games he appeared in, helping Oklahoma City finish with the NBA's third best record. James Harden having a career night. They can't stop him. He sees that lane wide open, no shot blockers in there for Dallas. Dallas decided to go small right now with Dirk at the center. Huge shot. Shot clock to five. Harden for three, yes! Spurs call for time. All right, let's do this. Let's pick the series. Who's winning? The Bull or the Bulls? The yeah, Heat? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Not this one. Yeah. The Heat? or the Dallas Mavericks. High left side, LeBron James. Against Harden, one on one. He'll go right to the rack with it. Up and in, right off the window. Miami has a 19 point lead. What an offensive explosion here in the third quarter. And now the Thunder, they're seeing this one slip away. Been a lot of talk without you here about your contract deal. Uh, any anything you can keep us up to date on on where that stands at this point? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, just I'm letting you know my agent and, and and the front office handle that. You know, right now I'm focused on you know this training camp and this beautiful season that we're about to have.
It's a sad day in Thunderland. I'm Barry Trammell along with Thunder Rider Darnell Mayberry. It's Sunday afternoon and James Harden is a Houston rocket. The Thunder has shipped James to Houston. The contract negotiations broke down. Mark, uh, did this surprise you or did the people in the inner circles of the NBA see this coming? Not this soon because the deadline for an extension for Harden is Wednesday night at midnight. All the first rounders from the class of 2009 have until midnight at Wednesday to try to get extensions done. Uh, the Thunder and Harden, they've been going at this all month. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, James Harden deserved every penny of the max contract. No denial here. No denial here. He absolutely did. And he immediately went out on the road in Detroit and backed it up. You can go beast mode game. You can go monster game, whatever kind of game you want. He backed it up and made a resounding statement that echoed all the way back to my hometown of Oklahoma City. You blew it, Thunder. Who comes out better here? I think the Oklahoma City Thunder comes out better. I think maybe down the future, he may look back at this and say, if I had it to do all over again, maybe I would stay in Oklahoma City. When Leola Boyd first called me, she told me her plan. She's on a fixed income, Social Security, but she was willing to donate $40 to keep James Harden. I explained to her that that probably wouldn't be kosher under the NBA labor agreement, and now she faces a possible future without her favorite player. Look at the ball movement by Houston, and Harden now takes it inside, puts it up, missed it, and followed it for two. James Harden getting it done as advertised. In the game, Harden shows you a great move. Going to the when to shoot it, he's dictating to the defense. By the way, he's got Brown, and obviously he did. He went on to shoot. Oh. James Harden and his legendary facial hair have made the cover of this week's Sports Illustrated. 2015 has been a career year for the Rockets guard. As part of the NBA midseason report, Lee Jenkins talks with Harden, whose newfound confidence has turned him into a legit MVP candidate this season. Wide open. Steps back. 18-footer. Got it. And he's fouled. Nobody. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Couple the fact that Curry's become a better defender, a much better playmaker over the last two years, and I think he still is the leading candidate for the award. Harden's right behind him, and I think Harden has a leg up over LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and everybody else. But I still think there's a gap between Harden and Curry for that top spot. Steph Curry may have been the NBA's most valuable player last season, but James Harden says he was the real MVP. Curry finished 262 points ahead of Harden in the MVP voting. Okay, I'm gonna preface my reaction okay. by saying Steph is my MVP right now. With the 2014-15 Kia MVP award. The most threes in playoff history combined by two teams. Curry's second three-pointer. Curry. Great. The Golden State Warriors are in the NBA Finals. We scramble them once or twice. We got it. We got to amp this thing up, guys. Hey, let's score here and let's get our stop. All right, put the thing away. Stephen A., now that we have more information on the firing, do you think Kevin McHale um, being let go is a good thing? No, I don't. I think it's a shame. I think it's a travesty that he was let out of his job. Kevin, were you stunned? Yes. That the Rockets let you go? Yeah, I was. I kind of went in and I had said that we had, a, we had a rough camp, a lot of guys injured. We did a lot to, to help that, to, to give them some credibility on the bench of a Hall of Fame player who's been a pretty good coach. And by the way, I do expect Kevin to wind up back with the T Wolves. Thank you everybody for coming. Uh, I want to talk to all Rocket fans in, in Houston and, of course, the, the world why we made this choice to hire Mike D'Antoni as our head coach. We felt that we want to win all the time, every year, and try for a championship at all times. And we wanted somebody who really was a master of the craft, who really knew what to do, how to win. Mike has won 60 games twice in his career. More or less uh, going to be responsible for giving you know, rhythm to the team. That's what a point guard got to And he's going to be on the ball, and he's going to be uh, distributing the ball. And so it takes some adjustment. He's not going to just, you know, run down at, you know, he's got a lot more responsibilities as a point guard. He's got one man to beat. It's Rose. Side steps. 
Again, they have a chance. Alley oop. Capella. You know what I'm Express? You know what I'm thinking about, don't you? James Harden put him in the popcorn. James to the basket. And the Nason pulls up and. Harden. Leaning into Jimmy. James all the way down the. Capella gets the break started with a pass. So with a fake. Gets open and hits a three. Lunder is out of timeouts. Adams gives it back to Russ. Deep shot. Get it! And the winner of the 2017 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player Award is Russell Westbrook. This is CBS Sports Now on CBSN. More big news out of the NBA as James Harden signs the largest contract in the league's history. Skip. Six years, $228 million. But I believe that the Rockets just attempted to buy James Harden's happiness, so to speak. And, and loyalty. It ultimately, it ultimately will not work. Someone than C.J. Williams. Meanwhile, Jamil Wilson, another of the unknowns. is Paul, by the way, is just it's a day-to-day -day with that, that abductor screen. Martin gets inside, layup off the glass. In playoff series, and right before playoffs, that absolutely took away their opportunity. Nice feed, Harden throw. Nance, there's Harden with a three and one. Can help and clean that up, but if you make a mistake in the paint, it's two points. Shows you how valuable Clint Capella is. Harden for two and one. Been able to solve this L.A. defense so far in the third quarter. Harden puts up a three. Yeah, and Harden. Harden steps back, fires, Go! But I have never seen anything like tonight. 60 points, 11 assists, 10 rebounds. The new scoring, one game scoring record for Houston. I think it was certain to work. I thought it was gonna be oh, man, hard. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson and then he hits the three. Anyone wanna give it to him over Harden and change their vote? It's been Harden all year. I got Harden, and I'm getting ready for uh, April Madness. I got Harden. But he came in second in the MVP the last two seasons, and it feels like it's his time. Who is your MVP right now? Dominique, we'll start with you. Harden or LeBron? I mean, I think it's Harden. And the Kia NBA Most Valuable Player goes to... James Harden, the Houston Rockets.